so much for watching amber prop design today what i'm going to do is a quick pour but we're going to add different things to the paint to see if we can get kind of different kind of chameleon cells and stuff like that try different things and test and see if we can get any new kind of shapes or figures and just kind of play around today so the paint i'll be using today is artist loft white red and yellow i am going to be using a previously used canvas because we are going to be dipping some items in silicone i want to know if it's going to seep all the way down to the canvas and see if it pits or makes any divot so i've already laid the base down on my canvas and as i said we're not really focusing on the pour itself today but just see if we can get any cool shapes or anything like that so today i decided to use a 14 by 14 canvas just a little bigger than i normally do just because i have a lot of things that i'd like to try and i'm super excited to show you guys and if you haven't seen one of my most popular videos it's the 10 pouring mediums I'll just put the link up right here for you guys. You can check that out. I tried and tested 10 different pouring mediums to see how they kind of stacked up with one another. And I definitely had a lot of surprises <laughs> when I was doing it, but it was super fun. So as I said, the whole point is not to get a bunch of cells in this painting. It is actually uh, to get least amount of cells as we can while we do our pour and let the silicone kind of do its job. So I want almost like that gradient look because I didn't want too many cells. I only put Floetrol in my white for the base and I just use water in my other colors, the red and yellow. So I'm super excited. We have a bunch of different little knickknacks I kind of want to try out here today. And we're going to see if we're going to be able to get different types, styles, trends. So we got a little bit of cell action going on here, but that's okay. So the first thing that I am actually going to do, pour my silicone on my little mat here. We're gonna start with really small ones at first. The first one that I wanted to try, I glued this really cute bat here uh, to it, just the stick. And I just wanted to see if it will take the form on the paint. So I'm just gonna lightly dip it on here. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. So I'm hoping this will be another test. Will it stay the way that we the way that we stamped it or is it just going to kind of lose its shape? That's another question that we'll have for the day. So circular ones, we know even if it like kind of spread, it's okay. But I can see already that it's starting to lose its shape. The second one that I have here is just a pendant that I purchased a long time ago, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. Um, so it is a necklace pendant, uh, but I wanted to just kind of put this in here and see if we can make the shape as well. So all I'm doing is just dabbing this into the paint itself and just lightly going on top. I'm not even going to the base of the canvas. That one kind of worked, but not too much. So I'm gonna add a little more silicone. Let's see. Try to put it in the yellow. Maybe it'll come out more then. Push it down a little bit more. Oh, that is so cool, you guys. Look at that. So cool. That is amazing. Okay, so my next one here, I'm hoping that works. I have just, you know, a, kind of the frame that we always put our skins in. And I'm excited because I'm hoping it's going to take all the details that we have on there. 
if it does take the detail of that, oh my goodness. And I'm assuming that it's going to now because it will for the other ones. My stick kind of fell off, so hopefully I don't ruin this too much. Oh. Okay, so that one is on me. <laughs> we'll have to try that one again. I will wipe it off. Cool, so the bat and the um, ribs are actually staying quite nice. Okay, just let it sit on top and I'll bring it up. So this one kind of worked, but not overly. Uh, it's showing a really cool shape and it's actually almost flowering out. So I want to try that one in, but in a, just a different area. Okay, so I, my next one is another pendant that I have. Okay, and so this one is uh, just a nautical anchor. I'm obsessed with nautical. I'm going to try to put that in the center of this frame. Let's see what we'll get. Not too much, but let's try this again. So we're getting a little bit, but not, not too much with the anchor. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm going to try it a third time. Not really working. I wonder if there's a zoom up going on for it to make the shape. Okay, another one that I wanted to try here today is the, hoping you can see it, the scissors. I'm super pumped about this one. So hopefully this one will work out well, just lightly on top. And so it is taking its shape. It's taking a little bit to come out, but it's definitely showing. You can see this. Okay, I'm gonna try that one more time, you guys. And you don't want to push down all the way to the end of the canvas. That is super cool, guys. Yeah, you can definitely see, even right over here, how much that is coming out now. I'll try it one more time. And it's not at first, but it's slowly popping out. So I have one of these guys. Sorry, I got a little bit of paint in there, uh, but it's a skeleton. And we're gonna just try to see if we can get that shape in there as well. Just let it rest on top a little bit. See if it'll come up. Okay, it doesn't seem to be taking the shape. I had a stick on there and it kind of fell off. Yes, it doesn't seem to really want to take the shape of this skeleton. That's okay. So when we're trying to do too much detail, it really just doesn't want to do that and that's okay that's great to know that looks so amazing look at how all of these are turning out so far I'm really impressed that they have not lost their shape yet okay so I want to just try it like a line this is kind of just a paint scraper see how many cells we would end up getting and what's great about this is because you have that control right in there. And I have a teardrop stone that I would also like to try. Just sat on top for a little bit and I'll pull it off. And so what's great is when the silicone is on there, you shouldn't receive see much paint coming off of it. 
okay so if you're getting too much paint that's coming off you don't have enough silicone on there I'm gonna try one more So it's slowly taking its shape, which is super cool. Some of them come out right away, some of them do not. This whole thing is really great because we're always seeing uh, hidden images in our items. This is a great way to actually put those intentional hidden items. So if people notice it, you'll know that <laughs> that was what you were intending to do anyway. So I bought this little guy at um, Michael's and I just wanted to test to see, you know, is it gonna show that many little bumps? So I'm not dipping the whole thing in there. I'm just gonna dip a little bit here at the bottom and lift up. Now this turned out pretty neat because look at the divots it's still made within it. Put it on top and I'm gonna lift up. Oh, that turned out really cool. Almost like firework explosion. And so what I'm going to do, because it seemed to really, really be working when I just left it on there, I'm going to just hold it on there and we're going to see what's going to happen, how many cool cells and what's going to work for it. Even the little feet here are making cells. Okay, I'm gonna lift. Oh, that is gorgeous, you guys. Look at those flowers. Beautiful. Oh, that is amazing. I'm gonna add more just because I'm so excited. And it didn't seem to grow outside of the circle area until I lifted it. So while we're waiting for that guy, the next one I'm gonna dip is, this is actually just egg cookie cutter. And this one was at Michael's that I got. It's only $1.99. That's gorgeous. And some of them, what I love about it, some of them uh, have that center piece of the flower. I cannot wait to see what else we can come up with this one. Very exciting. I feel like this one will just be similar to the straight one. That looks super cool. I don't know if I would say that it's necessarily selling out the whole way, but it's making like almost like a worm cell. So it's still actually moving. So I'm gonna try to just add another one. It looks awesome, you guys. I'm so excited for that. Another one here. I purchased this at Michael's. It was $9.99. Um, all the everything that I'll be using today you'll be able to find in my Amazon store in the link below. This is the one, the brush that has a lot of movement. There are some that are very hard plastic. This one is kind of the brush. You want to make sure with this one that you're for sure getting each individual long I guess you'd call it hair or stem uh, because if you don't it's probably gonna look like there's a big gap Ooh, 
that's really nice, you guys. That turned out really nice. It looks like from a far distance that it's like little, little flowers. Can you see that? Try this one one more time. And I'm, I didn't wipe it off, so I want to see if I can get some of that pink onto the white as well. That's really nice. And I'm gonna just move it downwards. And we'll see if it comes up with anything here. As a nice streak to it, that's what it's there for. For rolls or the end of And this one should work, you know, if that egg worked. Uh, and the swiper, this should work as well. Okay, I'm just gonna put this right here. You'll be able to see. Yeah, and just as I thought, like with the egg, cookie cutter. So th this one should be an interesting one here. Um, so we might be able to get a few more little um, areas. So this one will be interesting. I'm not, I have used it, that's why it's covered in paint. I've used it to kind of try to make designs in my paint with not much luck. So let's hope that with the silicone, it kind of works better. Just lay it on top. And it seems to have almost like, uh, as if you were to have foliage. Just a bit of detail, but not too much. And I'm not too sure if you can see. It's not a huge amount that we're getting cells or anything like that. The next one that I wanted to try, uh, as we always know, we've tried balloons in the past for our balloon dip, balloon smash. I just wanted to try it with some silicone on it. We'll see if anything comes of this. So it just looks like a balloon smash, nothing special. <laughs> um, the next one I'm going to test is my pottery tool that I always use for my water drop effect. Uh, this tool, and if you haven't seen the video, you can check the link above. This tool is not super expensive. You can get like four or five of them, different sizes for I believe $6.99. It's super cheap. rolled it maybe force of habit I will put silicone on and just dip it looks like just like a little kiss nothing special or anything like that there are so many amazing details here look at you guys we still see this bat we still see the rib cage it's a little it's wandering a little bit but it's nothing too bad I loved using this little worm guy or centipede. He worked out so great. We got so many of those flower cells on top right there. It looks awesome. I loved working with the scissors. Turned out amazing. So did the frame. The second time I wasn't as impressed. Uh, either time but I like how it kind of looks you still have a different shape of a frame which turns out really cool the egg turned out great same with the toilet paper roll I really loved it so all of these all I did is if it didn't have a stem I super glued it to say like a wooden stick 
uh, stir stick. And a lot of the stir sticks that I was reusing, I use them anyway. So, so there was really not much waste and I can reuse those stir sticks for items like this. I'm really excited to see what we can come up with. If you have anything else that you'd like me to try, definitely let me know. Um, for all of these items that you see on here, you can purchase them either on my Amazon store or on my website. A lot of these findings that I had, such as skeletons or the bats, I do have them on my website. So I will post the link below and you can definitely purchase them through me. So here's the end result. The painting is completely dry. So a lot of the items did actually end up staying. It's just they seem to have mudded a bit in the center, as you can tell. So I'm very happy to say that because most of them stayed, this is going to be another project, another video to come out soon. And we will maybe just work with some different colors because they seem to have blended quite a bit. So I definitely encourage all of you to go out, try different things on your canvas. I'd love to see what you come up with. And remember, just go with the flow.